You know that smug feeling when you're sure a habit is good for you? Mine was a pair of 42-hour fasts every week. Well, I ran my routine through three AI tools and they showed me pretty quickly that I was losing muscle instead of saving it. Hi, I'm Chantal and welcome back to AI for 50 Plus. In the next few minutes, I'll show you how a six-step relay of three AI tools, Gemini 3, Perplexity, and Notebook LM, helped me design a real-life plan, a science-backed longevity routine for anyone over 50. If you're curious about AI, whatever your age, but allergic to tech jargon, this one's for you. Think of these tools as a relay team. Gemini 3 is the project manager. It frames the goal and assembles the final output, beginning and end. Now, you can use ChatGPT or Clothe here, but I really wanted to try the new updated Gemini. Perplexity is the hunter. It roams the web and finds credible science-backed sources. Notebook LM is the analyst. It reads line by line all of these sources and challenges assumptions. And then the baton goes back to Gemini 3 to turn raw insights into something I can actually use. Let me show you the relay in action with the longevity plan. Quick background, I'm 61. I spend my afternoons at my kitchen table working on videos and an old Qigong injury left my right knee a bit finicky. My goals are crystal clear. Protect my muscle, sarcopenia is a real thing, especially after 60. Hold my bone density. Tweak my nutrition, but without getting into a diet mentality. And keep moving without compromising my knee. Now, generic advice would say, eat a little less, move more, and maybe lift. But I wanted precision and backed by science. Let's go to my computer. Here we are in Gemini 3. So I started by asking a very simple question. Hi Gemini, I want to research what are the best practices to enhance the health of a 61-year-old woman already in good health. What are the areas, nutrition, sleep, exercises, social interactions, etc., in order of the most impactful that I should consider doing research on? Gemini gave me five pillars to explore. Uh, so you have it here, exercise, nutrition, sleep, social connection and purpose, and hormonal and medical optimization. We went back and forth, uh, including my next question, which was, should I use Perplexity and Notebook LM to do the research? Uh, because I didn't want to complicate things. I do like both tools, but I, w I wanted to see if it was worth it. So I asked the question, should I just do Notebook LM deep research, which is a new update, or should I do perplexity and Notebook LM? It gave me a really interesting answer. You'll see here, he's breaking it down between the competitors. Perplexity is, uh, and I love those AI analogies, the hunter-gatherer. And it's very good at finding specific facts, obscure papers, and answering quick, complex questions. And source, source control is high. That's really important. Notebook LM is the analyst, and uh, the source control is medium to high. I would say, yeah, probably more medium, uh, because it's the AI itself that decides what is relevant. Based on that, it actually indicated that it would be a hybrid workflow, which I wanted to do from the beginning, was the best one. So do perplexity first to find some URLs and then have Notebook LM synthesize everything and produce some preliminary outputs that I can then feed into Gemini 3. This is step one. Start with Gemini 3, in this case, or ChatGPT or Claude to determine the goals, the scope of the research, but also to craft prompts for Perplexity and Notebook LM. Let's go into Perplexity so that I can show you the prompts that uh, Gemini 3 suggested. This is the first prompt. You'll remember that in Gemini 3 we had five pillars. 
The first one was about exercise. Uh, find the most cited systematic reviews and meta-analysis from the last five years. I like that because in each of the prompts, uh, it limited it to five years, so only the most recent uh, sources. Regarding resistance training adaptations and VO2 max protocols, specifically for postmenopausal women. And then it, uh, it indicated what specifically to look at. And also in my exchange with Gemini 3, I asked, make sure that in my prompt, I get the output that I want from perplexity. Because if you have uh, the titles and URLs or more information, it makes it more complicated for Notebook LM. And I just wanted to be able to copy and paste it. It said uh, here, at the very bottom of your response, provide a distinct section titled Source List for Notebook LM. In this section, provide a bulleted list of the top 10 to 15 source URLs used in this research. Do not truncate the links. That's important. You want the full link. After using it, I use it for a couple of times and uh, I removed bulleted here because it was making it complicated for Notebook LM. It would not necessarily recognize if there was a bullet. Perplexity first prompt gave me a lot of great information and then provided the sources. And it did that for uh, the five different pillars. So here you have the nutrition, talking about protein here with the list. And then you have the uh, sleep, again, with all of the uh, sources there. The fourth one was about social connection and longevity, the, the link between those. A lot of nice sources here. And here we go. The medical... Oh, I asked here. Yes. I asked here for the, the top five among the 15 that were listed here because in Notebook LM, I was into a free plan and I was concerned because I had six different prompts that if I had 15 in each, of course, I would end up with 90 and my limit was 50. But during the preparing of this and working on this, I hit two little walls. My first one was the number of sources in Notebook LM that I wanted, uh, I wanted more. And also when I was using Gemini 3, I had the free version. And after a while, uh, it gave me the prompts, but then when I wanted to get more prompts, it uh, actually stopped it because I was at the limit of the free plan. So I did upgrade uh, Gemini 3 and Notebook LM. It's the same upgrade in Google One. And it's, uh, there's a free first month, um, a first month trial. So I'm doing this. And so far, I have to tell you, I might actually choose this one and go back to a free plan with ChatGPT. We'll see. Uh, so then I asked, at, at that time, I was in the free plan, give me uh, five sources. Then uh, the next one was about health optimization and HRT, hormone replacement therapy. And finally, there was a sixth question or prompt that uh, Gemini 3 suggested, and I thought it made a lot of sense. It was identifying where there was a disagreement between the standard medical advice and longevity specialists. Because when you look at fasting, for example, and that's one example, uh, HRT is another one, the standard medical advice might not be at where it should be compared to the specialists. Ask for that and had the sources there. So this was step two, going from uh, Gemini 3 to perplexity. Now going to step three. And actually, it's step three to five. I'm going to Notebook LM, this is the interface. And I'll go to my notebook here, 61 and thriving until 100. You have to be ambitious. This is where I pasted. So you know that you add sources. And then I clicked on website here. And I pasted the URLs that Perplexity gave me. So I put them all in. It gave me, at the time, it gave me 50 sources, or uh, maybe there were two that were, because when you look here, you have some, uh, sometimes some error 
messages of some of them, and I had two that didn't download correctly, so I eliminated them. So I had 48 sources. You'll notice that I have 55 now because I've created things with Notebook LM that, I, that became sources uh, as well. The first thing I did in Notebook LM after uploading in my step three was actually to go to deep research for right away. And you have to remember to click here to make sure you're in deep research. And here I pasted the prompt that uh, Gemini 3 gave me to help me have the best report possible. And it was a really good prompt with uh, fairly long detailing uh, the structure that it wanted to cover the five pillars and also the fifth one about the uh, longevity experts versus standard medical advice. And it gave me this uh, beautiful report here, bridging a standard care uh, elite uh, biometric performance for the healthy 61 year old woman. And there's an executive su summary and then it goes into all of the pillars. That was step three. Step four, I'd asked uh, Gemini 3 to give me two questions that I could put in the chat here where you can type and ask questions because I really wanted to go a bit deeper uh, with the fasting to see is that uh, because I, I could see that I needed to do weight training and eat a lot of protein and well when you're fasting your body is using a lot of energy just by fasting so I was concerned about the weightlifting and also well would I have enough time to eat enough protein so the first one that it gave me, here we go. This one here, I currently follow a rigorous fasting schedule, 42 hour fast twice a week, and the rest of the time, uh, 18 hours, based strictly on these sources and asking a question to critique this schedule to see if it would work. It gave me a very comprehensive and eye-opening answer. Uh, with the uh, sources here again and what I did is of course I uh, immediately uh, saved it as a note and then as a source so it ended up uh, in my list here and I asked the second question uh, as well here we go analyze so the first part was about fasting and protein the second one is about fasting and weight training and heavy heavy lifting and again, gave me a real comprehensive answer and I saved it as a note and I uh, transformed it into a source as well. That was step four going into the chat here. Step five was moving to the studio. What I did is that I first asked to do a report and it was a literature review on all of the sources, of course, including the deep research report that is one of the sources. And it gave me a nice report, uh, fairly comprehensive as well. Not as comprehensive maybe as the deep research, but I'll talk to you about that a, a bit later. And finally, in my step five, I did a mind map. And this is what it looked like. If you've done those mind maps, you know that you can click on the arrows here and then it further divides itself into subtopics. So that's what I did and that was step five. Now, what were the highlights? Well, the deep research report, to be uh, honest, I found a bit too dense and academic. Probably would have to look at my, the prompt that Gemini 3 gave me to maybe change it a bit so that the tone is a bit different. The studio report took into account everything, including that deep research report, and it was really good. I think that one for me was uh, much more useful. The mind map was gold. I could go deeper, click into any of these areas and chat, because when you click into one of those, it brings you back to the chat and then you can have a conversation, quote unquote, with Notebook LM and ask more questions. So that was great. And just to show you, because I did push back a bit, a bit further, I pushed back about the fasting because I felt that maybe the questions were a bit leading in a way to say, well, it's not good, right? It wasn't that bad, but I saw a bit of there. So I asked, uh, here we go. 
I asked, what about the anti-inflammatory effect of fasting and the benefits of losing weight faster for overall health versus eating a lot of protein and weight training? Because I know fasting is good for me. But I just wanted to know if it was possible that maybe the benefits outweighed the inconvenience. This is the answer, and I'm going to read you here. For longevity optimization, the goal is to reduce fat mass while aggressively protecting lean muscle mass due to its role in metabolic health, strength, and overall function. Therefore, although rapid weight loss provides significant metabolic benefits, it must be balanced against the risk of muscle catabolism inherent in deep, prolonged caloric restriction. Bam! Right between the eyes. I got my answer. Now, back to Gemini 3 for the final step, step 6 where I uploaded the studio report, the deep research report. I pasted the two answers I got in the chat from the fasting questions. I uploaded a screenshot here that you can see of the mind map. And I asked him to ask me uh, questions so that what he would produce, which I wanted a plan, taking all that research into account, I wanted it fairly simple but clear, but I wanted it personalized. I didn't want it generic. He did ask me four questions. Here are the questions. What is your current weight? Important for the protein. It talks about, do you currently belong to a gym or do you have heavy weights at home? I don't. I have five pounds dumbbells, uh, but I'm, and I don't go to the gym, but I'm not opposed in, to buying uh, some of those dumbbells that you can add uh, weight to make them heavier. So I said that. Uh, morning versus afternoon. Uh, do you want to exercise in the morning or after? I prefer the morning, I said, but afternoon is fine too. And I don't want uh, yo-yo dieting. So it was really interesting. What is a specific thing that usually causes you to fall off the wagon? That was interesting because for me, it's more boredom. I can't say it's stress because I don't have much stress being retired, but I would say boredom and celebration would be my top two. So I answered that uh, as well. And I finally finished that whole workflow in Gemini 3 by asking what is the best prompt that I could have put initially to get the pillars and to also get the workflow. And it gave me what the prompt would be. So when I want to maybe do some research on another topic or something related, I can use that prompt now instead of going back and forth because you can see here on the side, I don't know if you can see, but there's this little slider here. It's quite a long discussion. What's the final output? Well, let's go see in uh, Google Docs here. And here it is, the 61 and thriving until 100 master plan for the first month. So nutrition uh, for the two meals, movement with some uh, exercises that are seen actually as the best ones, uh, continue my walking base of 8,000 uh, steps, lifetime and boredom breakers to you know help me not get into the maple syrup too much and contingency because we travel quite a lot and we will be babysitting a, a granddaughter uh, in December so I wanted to know what do I do when I'm not home I'm not going to carry the dumbbells it gave me a contingency uh, plan as well so very very good now I just need to get to it and start doing it and I'll let you know how it goes. Here you have it. Using the power of three AI tools to get exponentially better results. AI helped me with the planning, the research, and gave me very useful outputs. Your turn. How will you use this workflow? For sleep, a creative project, secret trip? Let me know and maybe I can do a walkthrough in a future video. If this helped you, please tap subscribe, watch these videos, and I'll see you in the next one.